Okay, this is another u substitution problem um, with a square root x times the square root of x squared plus 9 dx. Um, and the problem asks us to substitute for x squared plus 9. It already defines u. Um, so the first thing we want to do is take du, the derivative of u. Um, so the derivative of x squared plus 9, um, remember x squared will become 2x, um, and 9 will go away because it's a constant. Um, now that we've taken the derivative, we add dx, as always, so that we can solve for dx. So we tack dx onto the end, and then we divide um, both sides by 2x so that we can get dx by itself. So dx is going to be du over 2x. Um, and now that we've solved for that, we can plug back in. Once we have dx, and once we've defined u, um, usually we're able to plug uh, back into the original equation and take the integral. So it's going to be the integral of x times the square root of u, which was defined, and then dx we solve for. It's du, du over 2x. Um, okay, so here's our integral. And usually when we um, do e substitution with integrals, um, we're trying to get rid of all the x's in the problem. So um, in this case, we still have x's left, but this is on the numerator, this is in the numerator, and this is in the denominator, so the x here and the x here cancel, and we're just left with the square root of u du over 2. So those two cancel, um, and now what we're going to do is pull out the, the 2 in the de denominator, or the fraction 1 half, um, from the integral to, to make this easier. So we're going to end up, we're going to pull out the 2, which is in the denominator, so 1 half times the integral of, and all we're left with down here is the square root of u du. So square root of u um, du. So there's our, whoa, um, there's our problem. We're going to go ahead and change um, the square root of u to something we can deal with more easily. Um, 1 half times the integral of u to the 1 half du, um, we've defined this as a rule that um, this is just a formula. And if you don't know, um, the square root of u is the same thing as u to the 1 half always. So, um, so we can deal with this more easily. 1 half, we're going to go ahead and take the integral. Open parenthesis, we're going to take the integral of this part now. Um, always add 1 to the exponent. 1 half plus 1 is 1 and a half, or 3 halves. So u to the 3 halves. And then we divide the coefficient, which is 1. Um, it's implied here. Um, divide the coefficient by the new exponent. So 1 over 3 halves. Um, and then plus c, always, when we're taking the integral to represent the constant. So then this 1 over 3 halves, um, of course, we got to simplify that. Um, instead of 1 divided by 3 halves, um, we're going to apply just this arithmetic formula. That's the same as 1 times 2 thirds. Um, we just flip the, the fraction um, from 3 halves, uh, flipped it over to 2 thirds, um, which we can do instead of dividing by this, we multiply by the inverse. So 1 times 2 thirds is, of course, 2 thirds. So um, let's go ahead and change this here to 2 thirds so that we can see that. 2 thirds. So we're going to do 1 half times 2 thirds. Um, the 2's cancel, and it's 1 third. 1 third u to the 3 halves plus c. We didn't do 1 half times c because c is a constant and c just absorbs the 1 half. It represents um, the 1 half in and of itself, so we don't have to say 1 half c. Um, and then we just plug back in for u, which we had defined in the beginning as x squared plus 9. 
so our final answer is going to be um, one third. Sorry, if it's kind of small. One third times x squared plus nine to the three halves plus.